Jake, thank you. We also spoke with an attorney unrelated to the case who gave his take on the lawsuit and whether he believes it could hold up in court. Channel 3's Joy Duke sat down with William G. Colvin, and she joins us now with more. Joy. Well, Cindy, attorney William Colvin tells me he's seen his fair share of class action suits over the course of his 30 years in the profession. He explained that there's a certain criteria this particular kind of lawsuit has to meet in order to be certified and that the suit filed against Tennessee American Water meets the requirements. Attorney William Colvin says the stakes are high. You've got a single event like this that impacts thousands of people. In a suit that could involve tens of thousands of plaintiffs following a citywide water outage that affected businesses, residents, and students. I think the 35,000 subscribers is the tip of the iceberg. Damage documentation for everybody that was affected by this is going to be uh, I would think substantial. But Colvin says requirements for the suit to be certified, a key to moving the case forward, are also high. The criteria includes having a group of plaintiffs large enough that filing individually would be impractical. Those plaintiffs must also have shared circumstances. Looking at the water company case that was filed recently, you've got a common fact, the 36 inch main that ruptured, the conduct in terms of the repair work that was going on nearby. Class members who will be chosen to stand for the entire group of plaintiffs must also have a common interest. Everybody suffered from the same actions or as alleged negligence of the water company. Colvin says with all of the facts of the case, he believes it undoubtedly meets the standards to move forward. But the challenge will be keeping the group's interest over that of the individuals who were impacted. Courts will get hung hung up, if you will, on do the individual damage issues, are they so critical and of such importance that you can't certify the class because your damage issues are different. Now, Colvin says a similar case in West Virginia was successful, but the circumstances were slightly different. In that case, water contamination was a factor. However, his, in his expert opinion, this case could also end successfully for those who were impacted. For now, live in studio, I'm Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Joy, thank you.